Randy Couture, um, how do you feel that your son did tonight? I mean, be uh, real honest, brutally honest, uh, how do you feel he's uh, progressing? Oh, I think he's progressing. He's getting better each and every time he steps out there. Obviously, he started a little slow tonight. He, he gave Joe the center of the cage and, and let Joe kind of control the tempo of that first round. And to kind of get him to shift gears a little bit in the second and third round, he did that. He stuck with the game plan. You know, he, he, he got him to move off center. He ran him into the fence. He took him down a couple times. Uh, I think, you know, he, he did a really, really good job. Uh, as a father and a coach, is it difficult for you when you're watching your son fight to separate those two, or are you just kind of of the binary mindset? Uh, it's not hard to separate. We, we kind of came came up with uh, de you know dealing with this through wrestling. When he started wrestling at an early age, which is a sport that I was you know, competing in at a high level, and, and then some of those skills have just transferred over to fighting. Now I've been doing this a long time. Uh, you know, Ryan's just got such a good head on his shoulders. I see the passion in him for the sport. He does the work. He's diligent, and uh, I think that shows every time he steps in the cage. So I'm excited for him, and uh, it's been fun. How much? Uh, control do you have over the type of uh, fighter that he has? I mean, obviously, a lot of fighters just want to fight the best all the time, but it's not always best for their career to do that so early. Do you have a lot of influence into who he fights? Well, I mean, they're going to throw who they're going to throw at him. I think they they see the, the potential there, too. And so they're, they're thankfully bringing him along slowly. I think that's one of the reasons he's here in strike force and, and fighting. You know, started with the Challenger Series and now is kind of working himself up into the main cards and, and, and tougher and tougher guys. So, you know, I, I think it's a sport of experience first and foremost. And so we're, we're, you know, trying to help make those decisions for him. But at the end of the day, it's, it's his choice. It's what he believes in his heart that's most important. And what do you think is maybe the thing he needs to work on the most right now? You know, I think it shows that his grappling and his wrestling is superior than, than most of the guys that he's fighting. And so I think using the efficient striking that he's developed with Tim and forcing that into those wrestling situations and make guys grapple and wrestle with him more. And so kind of connecting those dots a little bit more, making those transitions, forcing those transitions on his opponents a little bit more is going to keep putting him in, in the control and, and the tempo of the fights. Lorenz Larkin, at the end of his fight, uh, made a plea to Dana White for bonuses and strike force. Now, you've always been a fighter uh, advocate, so to say, uh, throughout your entire career. Is that the, the right way to kind of get that thing implemented? Do you have to kind of force the hand sometimes publicly? I, mean, I don't think it hurts. Uh, you know, obviously all the fighters certainly at all the levels want to get paid more. We all want to be appreciated more that way for what we do and what we're putting on the line in, in, in a sport like this. So, uh, you know, I think that's one way going about it. It raised some public awareness about the situation and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that'll work. We'll, we'll see. So is life as a coach uh, as fulfilling as you would hope it would be? It's one of the things I've always loved. I love coaching at Oregon State. I, I love working at Centennial High School here in, in the Portland area as a coach. It's one of the things I love about being involved in the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, and now at Extreme Couture, getting a chance to work with a lot of the guys, my son included, is, is very rewarding for me. All right. Thanks, Randy.